Backing up your WordPress website is very important. In this video, I will show you how to back it up using a plugin called Updraft Plus. Go to your dashboard on your WordPress website, then on Plugins, click Add New. Under Search Plugins, key in Updraft and then select the Updraft Plus plugin, which is this one and click install now. Once the plugin is installed, click on activate. And then you see here the settings button, you can click it. Or also, if you wanna set it up later, it will be under the settings here. So let's go under the settings here in your dashboard to set it up. The first thing you need to do is to go to the settings tab and choose the files backup schedule. The files in WordPress are different than the database, so you should back them up separately. I'm choosing here daily, and I want a retention period of four backups. This means the rotation will be four backups. And also for the database, I'm gonna choose daily with a rotation of four. This means if you back it up on Monday, Updraft will keep Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Friday it would read Monday and so on. Next, you choose the location of the backup. You have many options. Here I'm going to choose Google Drive. And when you choose Google Drive, you can choose the folder in Google Drive. I'm going to leave it by default. And of course, when you click on Save, you'll have to set up Google Drive. I'll take you step by step through this process. I'm going to leave everything by default here, except for the email. I wanna check the email so that the backup when it finishes, AppDraft will send me an email to my admin email on my website. And then click on Save Changes, and this is where you need to configure Google Drive. So it will tell you, you have selected a remote storage option and I should follow this link to authorize access to Google Drive. So AppDraft will access Google Drive on my behalf. Click on the link. It will take you to Google. If you don't have a Gmail account, you should create one. Here I have a Gmail account, so I will be using it to log in. So log in to your account. and click on Next. Here, AppDraft will ask you, you want to access your Google account? Click on Allow. And then here you have the message that the setup is complete. So you should click on Complete Setup at this stage. This will take you back to your WordPress dashboard. And then you see here that if you click on the settings once again, Google Drive is selected. You see here that there are no backups until now, but there is a schedule now, it appears here. If you want to take an immediate backup, you can click on backup now. I'm going to leave everything by default and click on backup now. And this is the backup progress here. When the backup finishes, it will give you a message that the backup finished. Here I showed you how to do a manual backup, but don't forget that other settings here, which shows that the backup will be done daily. And so backup will be done daily using updraft scheduling. Here you see under backup, we have now one backup. Updraft Plus divides the backup into five separate files. Let's go to Google Drive to see which files are created now here. So drive.google.com. And then you see here that we have the files, one, two, three, four, five files that were created with Updraft Plus.
to restore your site in case of a corruption or in case a page for instance you changed it and you want to roll back the changes so here I will be simulating that I changed the page I go to pages I'm gonna go to any page let's pick this one up let's edit it and I will remove a section of the page and then do a restore. The pages in WordPress are saved in the database. So I'll be restoring the database using Updraft Plus. So let's here, let's delete this, this module and save the page. And check out if it was deleted. Let's go and visit the site. Here I will go to the page that I changed just to show you that it was deleted. See here, the module is empty. So to restore the page, go to your dashboard, WordPress dashboard. Under settings, click on updraft backups. And here you see the backup that we just took. Click on the restore here and choose database only. Why database now? Because the page that we just changed, it's only saved in the database. In case you want, you deleted something else and you want to restore it, you choose it here. Let's click next. The message here is saying the restore operation has begun so you shouldn't close this browser until it reports that it has finished it's restoring verifying so here we see that the restore was successful let's go and refresh the page and see if it was restored And here you see that the page was restored. In case of a complete loss of your website, for instance, if you have a server corruption, you need to reinstall WordPress and then reinstall AppDraft, connect it to your remote storage and do a full restore of your website. In this video, I will simulate how to do this. To simulate it, I will go to Settings, Updraft Plus, and then under Advanced Tools, I will click on Wipe Settings, and then I will click on Wipe Settings so that I will wipe all the settings of the plugin. You see here, now it's not connected anymore to our remote drive, and it forgot that I checked the email. Now let's go back to Backup Restore and the backup that we took. Let's delete it from here without deleting it from the remote storage. So I will select Delete and then I will uncheck Delete from Remote Storage and click on Delete. So it's deleting now. It should disappear here so here we see that we don't have any backup now this simulates that we just installed WordPress and that we installed AppDraft Plus so we need to set it up now once again go to settings connected once again to your Google Drive click on save changes and then it will take you through the same steps that we saw earlier so I will do them quickly So now we have our Google Drive connected. We need to restore our website. Click on Rescan Remote Storage. And then once you click on Rescan Remote Storage, you see the backup that we took. It appeared. Here you can restore it completely. And then you have your website up and running once again. 
That was it for Updraft Plus. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.